Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm doing a collab with the Faithful Fab 8. We're going to be doing like a back to school look or I don't know, back to work look or if you just want to watch me do my makeup and watch me use this pink powder that I got on Amazon, um, just pretty much get ready with me. Um, I am so tired right now. I work today. I'm a mess. My hair is a mess. Everything's a mess. So we're just gonna do some makeup and yeah, that's about it. Um, I am going to use the Jekka Black Glow Drops and this is in Rose Pearl. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Like I am way too old for school and I like it would be nice like, if I was motivated to go to, like, back to college to get, like, a degree for something. But at this point in my life, I just, I have no desire to. Even, not, but for, to, for people who do go back to school, that's awesome. Guys, I'm so tired, I'm not even making sense. But anyways, I'm putting this primer on, and it is glowy. It's pretty. I think this would look good as just like a highlighter. And for foundation, I'm gonna use my Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation by Jerome Alexander. This is, I did a video on this a long time ago. It's like one of those made for TV items. Uh, I got mine in the shade medium. I can only really pull this off in the summertime because it is way too dark. You just shake it and this is the brush it came with. It's filthy guys. But the brush it came with, and I just spray a little bit on the brush. That might even be too much. I honestly don't use a lot. And I think it's really pretty on the skin, as long as I don't use too much. Um, and it wears pretty well, too. Like, I've been using it a lot, like, at work and stuff. And it just looks good. I remember when I did that review, I want to say I didn't like it that much. But I think I put way too much on, so that's why my skin felt really greasy. I've never tried the Dior Air Flash, but I'm guessing it would be like, it's like the same concept, so maybe it's similar. I've been shopping on Amazon so much lately. I should do an Amazon uh, video because I've just been buying. I, I signed up for a prime again and I thought they were going to take like the $14 out of my account every month like they did last time and I was getting ready to go to Target and I checked my bank account and I'm like I have $10 and they took like $150 for the whole year <laughs> that was terrible good thing I got paid I got paid since then but that was a terrible feeling but I did get well, I got the pink powder from Amazon, and I also got this purse. It was like 20 bucks, and it comes in so many different colors. I don't know. It's a really nice quality purse, and I think it's cute, and I like the gold detail and the little tassel and stuff. I really enjoy that purse, but I'm going to go in with my bronzer stick. This is from LYS in the shade medium. I use this almost every day. It's so creamy. It's a really good bronzer stick. And, like, I like my potted bronzers, cream bronzers, too. But there's something so convenient and easy about having it in a stick form. But, yeah, I'm just blending it with, like, a dense little brush. And sometimes I like to do my cream bronzer first before my concealer so my concealer can clean if I go overboard clean anything up. So I bought this off of Amazon. It's a, a Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid and I got the shade Cool Cashmere. And I, I got this on Amazon and the doe foot's like all messed up and this wasn't sealed. There was no like plastic wrapping or, or anything. It was just like rolling in the box. I don't know. I've been using it. I haven't had anything bad happen, but so I don't know if this is like a defect one or what happened, but I do like the concealer and I really like the tone. 
I don't like the, that the doe foot's messed up. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my, my Ulta brush. And I'm just gonna go over everything with my sponge just to make sure everything's blended real good before I go in with powder. Okay, so this is the pink powder I got off of Amazon. I probably overpaid for it. I paid $20 for it. Um, but it's the Ben Nye Pretty in Pink Translucent Powder, and it's very pink. I've had pink powders, like the e.l.f. has a pink powder. Um, I think I tried one from Shop Miss A, but this is very, very pink. But the pink is supposed to help brighten, and Huda Beauty came out with a powder, um, Cherry Blossom. It's like their limited edition powder, and it's been sold out. And I'm not sure if they're going to restock or what's going on with that. But, and I do want to try a Huda Beauty powder. Because I heard they're really nice. But I just think, I do enjoy this powder. I just think it helps brighten. And it doesn't look pink like it goes away. Like it blends in. <laughs> and I'm just going to go over where I put the concealer and for the rest of my face, I'll use a different powder. But yeah, it just blends right in, helps brighten. I think it's a nice powder. Now I recently picked up this powder from Target. It's already so dirty. Try to wipe it off, but from number seven, it is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder and I got it in light medium. I wanna say it was around $12 and I remember hearing a lot of people on YouTube talk about it, how it's a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. So I had to get it and I've used it a few times and I really do enjoy it. I remember on the packaging, it says it's good for people with mature skin, like fine lines, and wrinkles. It's not going to sink into it. And I, and it's like a light pot. Well, it's light, but it's not too light. Like I've had powders where you dip into it and put it on your face and it feels like it's doing nothing. Like this one, it's like the perfect amount of powder. It's not too heavy and it, it's just really pretty. And it doesn't super mattify either. If you don't like have dry skin, but you still like to set your face, it's just really pretty. It gives you kind of like a satin finish. I really have been enjoying this. And I want to get a little more bronze. So I'm going to go in with this from Pretty Vulgar. It's the bronze mankini. I haven't used this in forever. I was going through my drawers and I decided to use this. I did enjoy it. This is a little bit of a darker bronzer. So it's like my summer bronzer. But yeah, my daughter is going back to school in September. She's going to be a senior. It's like time flies. And for blush, I'm going to use my Merit Beauty uh, Raspberry Beret. Really pretty cream blush. I have this one and Beverly Hills. I enjoy this one more because it's like more, it's just more pigmented. It gives you more of a payoff. And my Merit Beauty brush. I love a lot of blush. And then I have my Merit Beauty highlighting bomb in the shade Kava. This is the lightest shade they offer. And it's, it gives you like a natural highlight. I'm gonna take my sponge and just tap that in. My sponge is stained from the Rare Beauty Blush. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my Illamasqua Hydra Setting Spray. And for my brows, I'm just gonna use my Persona Cosmetics Swipe Up Brown Brow Gel. Love this stuff. Got it in a boxy charm. So quick and easy. Love using it, especially in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, just because it's so quick. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer. I've been using an eyeshadow primer in forever. This is from Elizabeth Mott, Thank Me Later. And I'm going to use the New Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette. So pretty, I love this. It's, it's like a perfect everyday 
like bridal. I don't know, it's just pretty. I'm gonna go in the lightest shade, Bare, and I'm gonna set my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Milk Tea. I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown, Moody, and I'm just gonna put a little bit in the outer part of my eye just to add a little depth. I'm not gonna put a lot. And for a shimmer, maybe I'll go in with Expose right here. These are like um very interesting. They're kind of like boiled. They almost feel like creams, but they're not. And I'm gonna blend that in. And when I was going through my stuff, I found this liner I, I lost can find it. It's a Persona Cosmetic Black Eyeliner. Such a good pencil eyeliner. I'm going to tight line my upper lashes. I'm going to put a little under in my lash line and I'm going to smudge it out. I'm going to go with my liquid liner. This is my current favorite, the Physician's Formula. Um, Eye Booster and this is the Waterproof Formula in Blackest Black. So for mascara, this is also new to me. It's the number seven lash extender, um, lash length and volume. I thought this was a tubing formula, but I don't think it is. I forget which one from number seven is the tubing formula. If you guys know, let me know down below because I just, I thought it was, but it's not. But it is a nice mascara. I have been enjoying this and I haven't noticed any like smudging or anything like that happening with this so far. And I definitely feel like it gives me length and volume. And for lips, I'm going to use my Merit Beauty lipstick in Millennial because I am a millennial. <laughs> and this is just a pretty pink lipstick. It's natural. Um just adds like a flush of color and it's like a creamy balmy lipstick and that is it guys um if i were going back to school i would probably maybe i'd wear something like this but i think it's a nice like back to work obviously you could probably don't even have to put anything dark underneath here leave that clean and fresh so you're, you look more awake I just think it's pretty and my skin looks um, fresh and glowy and I'm, I just think it's pretty. But this palette is really nice. Um, I like everything I've used today. The pink powder, I de I've been enjoying it. It definitely turns out to be more translucent but I really think it helps like brighten underneath your eyes. Even if you don't try this one in particular, and if you don't like it being so pink, like I said, e.l.f., their Halo Glow, they have a pink one, which is great. Um, or if you're on Shop Miss A's website, their setting powder, I believe it's a dollar. You don't get a lot of product, but that one's nice as well. But anyways, guys, that is it. My, I did film my BoxyCharm skincare. It's going to go up after this video. I still have to finish editing and stuff. And then I want to do a cream blush video. I really want to do that. And maybe I'll, I'll talk about some Amazon purchases. I think that might be fun. But anyways, guys, I will see you all later. And... Let me know when your kids go back to school because I know certain parts of the country and the world is different. I know like down south, I feel like kids go back like the end of August. And I know here where I live um, in New York, kids will go back after Labor Day. So I guess it just depends like where you live. But I don't know. I always thought that was cute. It's always curious when, you know, kids at start school and like what grades are your uh, children going into? Or if you're going back to school, if you're going back to school to college or whatever you're doing, let us know down below. Okay, guys. Um, oh, and I'll also link everyone down below in the Faithful Fab 8. So please do check them out and see what they did for this video. Okay, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.